First you start by taking the wads you want to convert from and put it over the wads you want to convert to. In my example over here I have 1100 to 700 so you're going from 1100 watts to 700 watts. Now you can also do, you know, like if you're going from 600 to 800 watts, you do 600 divided by 800 to get this number. However, in this case, I'm going to do these two numbers here. So you do 1,100 divided by 700. That will give you 1.571 for all these numbers. It's actually more accurate to do your calculations with all these numbers, although for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to leave it at 1.57, rounding to the nearest hundredth. So now we have 1.57. All we have to do with this number is take it and multiply it by the amount of time taken to cook the dish. So the amount of time in my example here is I said a microwavable brio takes 1 minute and 15 seconds to cook on an 1100 watt microwave. How long does it take to cook on a 700 watt microwave? So we're going from 1100 to 700 because assuming we have a 700 watt microwave. Uh, we got our 1.57, same thing as the example up here to make it easy. Um, all we have to do is take that new number, 1.57, multiply it by the time it takes to cook the dish. So in order to do this, we first have to convert the amount of seconds in the problem to minutes. So we can't just multiply this 1.57 by 1.15, because 1.15 minutes is not the same thing as 1 minute and 15 seconds. So just be aware of that. So to do this, all we do is we take our amount of seconds, in this case we have 15 seconds, you divide it by 60, and this will give you your decimal minutes. So we can use this number to find our answer for our problem, since 0 0.25 minutes is the same thing as um, 60, or excuse me, 15 seconds. So now that we have our decimal minutes, we add our whole minutes. We have one whole minute, one minute and 15 seconds. We take this new number, multiply it by 1.57, that gives us 1.9625 minutes. So this is actually the amount of time it will take to cook on a 700 watt microwave. Although there's still a problem here. It's a little bit hard to read this. So in order to get a more accurate reading on this, what we're going to do is we're going to say it's going to take one minute. So we're going to write down our one minute somewhere, anywhere on a piece of paper, whatever. Or you can just remember it. And what we're going to do is we're going to subtract one. Or you're going to subtract however many uh, mi whole minutes you have. So if you had three, you subtract three, so on and so forth to just get your decimal minutes left, multiply this by 60, and round to the nearest whole number, this is your seconds. So we have one minute and 57.75 seconds, microwaves don't take decimal seconds, so we're, gonna multi so we're just gonna, um, excuse me, we're just gonna round up to the nearest whole number, which is 58. And the end to our problem, if we do the math right, is it will take one minute and 58 seconds, approximately, to cook a microwavable burrito that takes 1 minute and 15 seconds on an 1100 watt microwave.